hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel plan 3d tutorial and in this video we will be learning about sloped piping in plan 3d we already have a video on piping modeling in plan 3d but this video is completely dedicated to slope piping also coming to slope piping we will make this video in two parts first part we will do the general slope piping and we will understand the concepts and how to use it in the plan 3d and in the second part we will be learning about how to connect the sloped piping to equipments and fittings so let us begin this part one of slope piping in plan 3d without wasting any more time so before we start with the modeling part of the slope piping in plan 3d i just want you to explain or give a brief about this symbolic representation of this slope piping in the pnid so when coming to the pnid you might have seen this right angle triangle with some numeric values on it like one is to 100 or maybe the angle given on it on some lines taking this example of 1 is to 100 what this represents is like for every 100 unit length of the pipe running length of the pipe or it may be 100 mm it may be 100 inch or it may be 100 feet the pipe will be sloped by one unit that is for example if I use the unit as 100 mm considering my project units like for every 100 units I have to slope the pipe by one so and next if I connect it to the end you can see this sloped line this line actually represents the sloped pipe which has to be which has to be modeled in our project and next if I measure the angle of these two lines you can see that it is one degree so our pipe has to be rotated or sloped by one degree so I hope you understood the basic understanding of this sloped piping if you want to understand more about this symbol then you you can watch other videos on the YouTube there are many videos and I don't want to deep dive into that part so next coming to this this uh, modeling of the slope piping the plan 3d so here on the ribbon bar you can see that there is a box separate box where it has written a slope so this functions we have to use for slope piping there are two boxes here one is for rise you can see here the other is for run so what is the rise as taking this same example the rise is 1 and what is the run the run is 100 mm okay the rise is 1 and the run is 100 mm and next you can see here the, there is a slope icon here you have to switch it on whenever make sure whenever you are doing the slope piping this icon has to be switched on and next there is a one more number given here which you cannot edit so this is the angle so for 1 is to 100 mm slope the angle is 1 degree so if I change the rise like if I make it 3 you can see that the angle is changed to 2 degree so it gets automatically calculated we have set up the slope for our pipe and next let us try to route a pipe so using the default spec I'll use the 25 mm size of the pipe and I just I'll just use the root pipe symbol to just see if my pipe is sloped you can see that when I root the pipe there is a sloped symbol coming on the screen as well as we have like a one red line on the air and the white line represents the pipe so this red line is the horizontal line and if you see that with respect to the red line our pipe is at some angle so this is the one degree which is coming as per the slope given so I'll just click here somewhere and if I draw a line you can see that there is a difference between the end of the pipe and the horizontal line so our pipe has been sloped and now if I switch this off and next draw this is as usual line which we draw that is a horizontal line and if I, if I draw a line here you can see that the end of the pipe and the line is at the same level so this is the basic understanding of routing a slope piping in plan 3d and next let us go to some other example I'll rotate this and change this to WCS I'll just draw some random lines here okay let us make a horizontal line first so we have a horizontal line here then a vertical line then again a horizontal again a vertical line so I want to route a sloped piping in in this in this route okay this route is just for our representation not necessary you have to draw it so first I'll switch this on 
I'll keep this details same and I'll click on root pipe starting from this end then I'll click on this end my what uh, horizontal pipe is rooted and next when I want to root a vertical line it is not allowing me to move in the uh, vertical direction even if I change the planes of the pipe it is not allowing me to move in the vertical direction the reason behind this is that whenever we are routing a vertical line during the slope piping this toggle button has to be switched off that is we have to switch off the slope piping because if the software doesn't accept uh, routing the vertical line whenever the slope piping is switched on okay make sure you switch this off whenever you, you are routing the uh, vertical lines so let's moving on I'll just click here then again if I uh, like again I want to route a route a slope pipe so again I'll switch this on so you can see that it is routing a, a slope pipe then again I have to move in the vertical direction so I have to switch this off and then move it move in the vertical direction so if I see this from the front you can see that our pipe is sloped if I just draw a line you can see that our pipe is sloped okay so I hope you understood this example so let us move on for another example let me just undo what we have done here crease this three times okay we'll root a bigger length pipe 100 this end then we'll change the plane this end this end and this end so here you can see that uh, this line is not sloped because I have switched off this uh, a toggle slope button okay so now what happens is I have decided that uh, maybe due to some process change I want to make this as slope piping so there are like how do you do that like there are two methods one is like you will delete this whole pipe and then you have to root it again so that is a tedious process when the line is a, of a bigger length and complicated line okay. so you cannot do that every time then the second method is you change the straight pipe length to a sloped pipe by ed using the edit option so where is the edit option so when I select the straight line the horizontal line and right click you can see that we have one option like pipe slope editing you just have make sure that you have to just select one segment of the pipe for example if I select two segments and right click it won't be visible so I have to just select one segment of the pipe right click and if I go into slope piping I mean edit slope you can see that we there is a box which is being displayed here so starting from the top we have like start and end points so what is the start and end points of the slope so start of the slope is shown as green so considering this the, the green is shown here and the red is the end point end is shown on this side you can either keep it on default space whatever is shown here or else you can change the space as well for example if I want this as the start point I'll just click on this end and this as the end point it automatically takes but let me just click once more so this is how you can change so now I'll just make it as the same point as green that is the short start point as this point next we have this elevation settings that calculation if I click on this drop down menu here we have three options one is start elevation end elevation and slope so coming to start elevation like if you have entered the start elevation the start point will be elevated that is the elevation of this point will be changed for let me just uh, change here and show you like rise I will give it as 1 and run as 100 and if I click on OK you can see that the elevation of the start point has moved up and next I'll just undo and change it to end elevation so pipe slope and now just observe here on this point like I have changed it to end elevation then the rise as 1 and run as 100 and now I will click on OK it shows that the new setting exceeds the slope angles defined in the project settings and may cause pipes to disconnect do you want to apply just click on yes you can see that this elevation has changed and 
the pipe has been disconnected due to that the project tolerance which we have given defined in the project is less this tolerance i will explain you in the, the next part of this slope piping okay for now you can see that you just have to understand how we edit the slope pipes so i hope you understood what is this start elevation and end elevation okay i'll just undo it because i will keep it as start elevation i don't want this to get disconnected and next we have this slope angle slope calculation nothing but you have to enter the start elevation and the end elevation by by yourself and based on that the slope will get the pipe will be sloped okay so now let us just keep it as start elevation okay now i'll just give it as rise as 1 and this is 100 and okay you can see that if i see it in the front view you can see that the pipe has been sloped and next coming to this line this pipe i have sloped in this direction now let us assume that i want the slope to be on from the right to left okay this is from left to right but i want from right to left so let us learn that in this segment so i'll click on this right click slope editing and the start and end point are defined here so let us keep it as default and next i will keep it as start elevation itself and next rise 1 by run is 100 see if i keep it as 1 by 100 it will get disconnected of course but the slope is same that is from left to right since i told you that i want from right to left what i have to do is get back here and just give the rise as minus 1 and the run will be same as 100 so now if i give it as let's see the slope degree also is given as minus 1 and click on okay see the slope is from right to left so this is how you can play with the slopes using the editing edit option and don't worry about this disconnections we'll be learning about this in our next video and and if you change that you can yeah see if you can also connect it but in the next video i'll show you how the software will automatically take the connections so you don't have to manually again connect it okay see from the front view if we see this slope is from right to left and this is from oh sorry this is from left to right and this is from right to left this is how you do the sloped piping in plan 3d so i hope i was clear in explaining you about the sloped piping in plan 3d so still if you have any doubts still here you can comment in the comment section and i'll clear your doubts in the comment section itself or we'll clear those doubts in the next part so our next part will be like uh, regarding the connecting the slope piping to the flanges of or the nozzles of the equipments since the nozzles are straight and our our pipes are sloped sometimes we get the errors of connecting those pipes and also connecting those pipes to some fittings as well so we'll be learning that in the next part so stay tuned and if you have liked if you have understood about this concept of slope piping in plan 3d then please like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and share this youtube channel with your friends who are learning plan 3d and if you have any suggestions for me then do comment in the comment section and if you have any topics which you want me to cover then then please comment that as well in the comment section so i'll try to make a video on that as well so guys i'll catch you up in the next video till then take care and goodbye